first official was 414, which is a very good time, but like Nick Zader just a few years ago ran 411, he's just a high schooler. And that, you can see that was from 1913, so you can see that high schoolers are running better than that nowadays. And you can see it's slowly getting better. And then right here is the first sub four mile in 1954. And all the way to the current world record, which is 343, which is very, very fast. Here is my box and whisker graph. My uh, data, my minimum was, was, I had to do it in a weird way, so it's actually, you know, 3 minutes and 43 seconds. Q1, medium, Q3, and max. My stem and leaf, and just like Corey's, I had to, the limitation of the program was that it would take decimals, and it, so I had to multiply them all by a thousand to get it to work, so that's why it looks weird. And then here's my uh, information on the stem and leaf. And conclusion, why are they getting faster? I think it's because of training, nutrition, better shoes, and track conditions. Extensive research has been done to find the best way to train. For a while there, they did train uh, year round, and now they do sometimes multiple times a day. Nutrition amongst the elite athletes has always has been taken more and more seriously every year. They're you know getting it down to a science of what these people need to be eating. Uh, tracks used to be made out of grass and dirt, and they no longer are. And then you can see shoes are getting a lot better. And sources. Can you go back to the box and whisker plot, please. I want to ask you a question about that. What right there? Why is that Q1 to medium so tight? You think? Maybe somebody can help them out. You see what I'm saying? Look how tight that is from Q1 to Q2, and look why Q2 to Q3 is so big. Anybody ha have any idea? And I, I'm not sure. What, what, Miles? What it's kind of telling me is all of a sudden people are starting to get better. Yeah, I think. There's, there's more times around. The yeah, area. that's the idea. And when you run, do you notice different tracks like this track compared to dirt and grass? Oh, yeah, for sure, definitely. Which is this your favorite track over here? Uh, yeah, it tracks way faster. You feel you feel faster? Yeah. Just like an artificial turf like football, Adam, do you notice or Adam, you know, when you play in Duray Field or others, can you tell the difference? Yeah, I just get hurt more on Duray. What's that? <laughs> I just get hurt more on Duray. Yeah, and you know, there's a reason for that too. And in physics we talk about that. Okay, very good. Last one.